me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install Maya. Now, Maya is a program that will help you develop your own X models or at least modify existing ones. And then we can port them over to Black Ops 3 and Bob's your uncle. All right, now let's check this out. Now, I'm going to open up my Maya. That way I can show you guys what it can do. Now with this program, like I said, you can make your own X models. You know, um, it also has plugins that you can add. As you can see, it says right over here, Call of Duty Tools. Now with this, I can actually export X models, export animations. You know, I could actually bring in one of the zombie templates and make them give you the middle finger and then start dancing. And it's pretty cool. All right, so let's say if I click on uh, Call of Duty Tools and I go over here to import X model. Now I'm going to import a model from World at War. Click on that. And as you can see, I have all my World at War models. Now let's say if I pick uh, Bookshelf Wide. Click on that. Nope, this is not an actor. Zoom out. And as you can see, it's a bookshelf from World at War. I can actually modify it or at least export it and then put it into Black Ops 3. Now, right now it's in wireframe, mo wireframe mode. If I press 5, it'll put it in um, shaded mode. If I press 6, it'll put it in texture mode. So bow. Let me go to object and escape. And look at that. That's a bookshelf from, Black, uh, from World at War. And I can actually modify it, make it bigger, make it smaller, you know, add some um, other areas to it, and then I can export it. So I would just go over to Black Ops, export, put all the information in, export it somewhere. And then I would go over to the Black Ops 3 and then go to the X model to bin program, do that, and then import it into Black Ops 3. Now. This application is one of the coolest because you can actually make your own. Now, let me just give you guys a little preview of that. Now, let's say if I um, was making a house. Wow. This is a simple brush. Also, it'll look like Radiant, too. This is the camera view, top, side, and, well, top, front, and side. And, of course, I can put the shaders on all of them. And look at them. All right, so we go back to this view. Select this one. Now let me uh, add some lines in this. Bow, bow. Let me add some windows. Okay, let me add a door. Just a quick little preview of what you can do with this. All right, now I'm going to go into face mode. So I'm going to select the faces I want to modify. Select this one, select that one. Go to extrude. There we go. Already made two windows. Select this. Hold shift, select that. Go to extrude. And let me make a door. There we go. Now let me... Uh, cut this up again like this is just a little preview I'm not really making anything specific but I just want to give you guys a little heads up on what you can do now let me uh, select these faces whoa that looks cool all right let me go back there we go now let me select one of the edges Actually, let me go back over here, edge, select this edge, same thing, handle manipulator, bump it up, or else I can bump up all these other faces. There we go. And 
just like any other tool, you can texture it and you can animate it, his little timelines, so you can do the frames. And it's a pretty cool tool for at least application. And you can also get this for free. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how to get it for free. And uh, camera mode so I can check out and see how it came out. All right, so let's go over to Autodesk Maya. It's a website. So you're gonna put in this right over here, www.autodesk.com. Go to that site. All right, once you're there, click on menu. And then you're gonna go over to, it's gonna say free trial. You don't want a free trial. You wanna sign up as a student. So you can get this for like a whole year, maybe longer. So click on student and educationers. And here we go. Now what you would do is just go over to learn and teach, download free software, student, educators, educational. Let's do that. Click on that. And then you're gonna pick Maya. There we go. And then you're gonna create an account. So just create an account. Now, if you're not a student, just bullshit and just put in some fake info and then keep going through it. Go next, next, next. And then you'll be able to download it and it'll also give you the keys. So once you install it, it'll give you the keys to activate it and then you'll have it. Now, once you guys already have it, then I'm gonna show you guys how to add plugins. That way it'll sh show up just like mine where you can import and export models and also, um, you know, do other cool stuff with it. Now, remember, we're going to be using this in the future to make our X models or at least make custom ones. And, you know, whatever's not in the game, like if you want a specific chair or you want a TV or you want to bring an Xbox one into your game with the controller, you can make it all yourself and then just give it you know make it give it some textures and then just put it in your game and you'll be able to um, add some scripts to it you know this is really cool you know this is just the beginning so you know it's i'm hoping you guys are going to give this a try and then plus i'll be coming out with videos on how to do that so there you have it if you guys like the video hit that like button and subscribe man i got some good stuff coming peace